Can you imagine that the end of our universe might be the beginning of the next one, perhaps even one that is entirely different from ours? Theories of the multiverse are nothing new in the world of astrophysics, but evidence for this theory is emerging. The James Webb Space Telescope has just released the first image of another universe. Since the dawn of time, humans have looked up at the stars and pondered the sun, the moon, and the stars. For the first humans, the sun and the moon were holes in the sky through which light came into a world that these people imagined as a disk. Over millennia, our species has discovered that we live on a ball that rotates and revolves around a star, which is also a sphere. Together with many other stars and planets, we are a tiny part of a large galaxy and an even larger cosmos. Even though we have had high-powered telescopes for about 100 years, we still do not know everything about space. Researchers are constantly discovering more phenomena in the universe. They find answers to old questions, yet many mysteries remain unsolved. To this day, we do not know who created the universe or why. We did not know until now whether the universe has an end or is endless. With our best telescopes, we have so far been able to see about 13.3 billion light years away. When we look, we are always looking back in time because the light that telescopes like Hubble capture has traveled through time and space to reach us. We see the image of the moment when the light began its journey to us. This look into the past is fascinating. In this way, researchers were able to look back almost to the birth of the cosmos, or at least that's what they thought for a long time. Then came along James Webb, the new space telescope from NASA, the Canadian Space Agency, and the European Space Agency, ESA, which began operation in the summer of 2022. Even the first images from the telescope provided explosive material that still sparks heated discussions among scientists today. To be exact, there are six galaxies that are supposed to have existed at the beginning of time for which there is no scientific explanation. Galaxies like Glass C13 already existed 250 to 350 million years after the Big Bang, and that's theoretically impossible at this point in time. There should have only been a few stars slowly grouping together to form entire galaxies, and several billion years would be necessary. What does this mean now? Is the theory of the Big Bang wrong? Or is there a completely different explanation? Indeed, there is one. We may be looking at another universe here. The image of the galaxy cluster max J0647 plus 7015 reveals a breathtaking view of a group of galaxies like precious gems sparkling in the vastness of space. What truly excites scientists about this image is not just its beauty, but the facts. The same region of the universe was already imaged a decade ago by the Hubble Space Telescope. However, the quality of the image wasn't quite as informative, and in particular, the old and reddish objects in the background couldn't be decoded. It was only clear that they existed, and that was strange enough. The gravitational lensing effect, where small and distant objects in the background are magnified by objects in front, told researchers that these blurred points of light were old and very old indeed. James Webb then revealed stunning new details thanks to the triple lensing effect. Galaxies so old, so bright, and so highly organized that our Milky Way seems rather ordinary in comparison. Today, researchers are particularly puzzled by the data on brightness intensity. If the interpretations are correct, these galaxies have produced 100 times more stars than our galaxy. All the rules of astrophysics fail at this point. It's as if scientists have built all cosmological worldviews around an assumption that now clearly proves to be false. This is a shock for those who believed in the existence of a single universe and assumed that everything within this universe could be explained with the equations of Einstein's theory of relativity. Meanwhile, other branches of physics have long postulated that it's much more likely for us to live in a universe that is just one of many, with many additional dimensions or universes that could exist alongside or even within our own world. These galaxies might contradict our physical concepts because they belong to a completely different cosmos and exist within a completely different time structure. One of the first newly discovered galaxies was Glass Z12. Galaxies are usually named after the research systems through which they are discovered. Glass stands for Grim Lens Amplified Survey from Space, and Z12 indicates the value of the redshift. Each research group uses slightly different designations, and it's not obligatory to provide the redshift value of a newly discovered galaxy. Galaxies can also receive simple numerical designations. 
To lay people, Z12 may sound unspectacular, but astronomers hold their breath with this abbreviation. This value means the galaxy already existed 300 to 400 million years after the Big Bang. Therefore, it's very old and according to current cosmological theories, seemingly impossible. The discovery of glass Z12 was already celebrated as a sensation in the scientific community, but even more ancient and peculiar galaxies followed. The galaxy candidate CRS 93316 seems to top all the inconsistencies. This object is so old that it already existed 250 million years after the Big Bang. However, this object exhibits another peculiarity. Measurements of redshift yielded two very unusual results. At one instance, the object showed a redshift of 16.7 Z, indicating extreme age. Then measurements of objects in the vicinity of CRS 93316 were taken, and based on those, the galaxy displayed a completely different redshift. The galaxy appeared as if it existed in two places and two times simultaneously. Scientists jokingly refer to this galaxy as Schrodinger's galaxy, inspired by the famous quantum physicist Erwin Schrodinger, who demonstrated that at the quantum level, two or more realities can exist simultaneously. According to these theories, it's not only normal to have two universes, but there are infinitely many in many times and countless variations. Scientists struggling to grapple with these measurement results and new perspectives would still prefer to believe in a measurement error or even doubt whether these points of light are galaxies at all. While the spectroscopy examination to confirm the redshift is still ongoing, further data analysis from James Webb's NIR CAM system has already definitively ruled out the possibility of it being a low-mass star or an unobstructed active galactic core. We must anticipate that the discovery of CRS 93316 was only the beginning of what is possible. NASA has suggested that the James Webb Space Telescope theoretically can detect galaxies with a redshift greater than 20. These galaxies would have existed only 200 million years after the Big Bang, or perhaps the telescope is peering even further into dimensions of our universe, which might confirm that we have encountered a boundary of time and space unrelated to the Big Bang at all. At this point in time, we can no longer speak of the beginning of time, the universe, or the time after the Big Bang. Instead, we adjust the terminologies and refer to it as the edge of the observable universe. There lies another fascinating source of light which exhibits a very high redshift value in our images. To prove that AEL 2744 Y1 is indeed a galaxy whose light has traveled more than 13 billion years to reach us, a group of researchers has combined the best telescopes in the world. The Spitzer Telescope, Tundra, and Hubble have captured another image of this remarkable galaxy by collecting data from various wavelengths of light and assembling them into one image. Not only is the age and distance of this galaxy intriguing, but the rate of star formation surpasses anything previously deemed possible in physics. Despite being 50 times smaller than our own Milky Way galaxy, AEL 2744 Y1 produces stars at a rate that is 10 times faster than that of the Milky Way, which is atypical for a galaxy in a young universe. The observable universe currently has a radius of 46.1 billion light years. Beyond that, there is likely much more. The better our telescopes become, the further and more detailed our observations can reach. James Webb is theoretically capable of looking back 13.6 billion years. If the Big Bang occurred 13.8 billion years ago, there would eventually be a limit to our observations. This is because several hundred years after the Big Bang, the universe would have been completely dark. The first stars are believed to have formed only after 380,000 years. If researchers continue to discover even older galaxies, it will conclusively prove that all previous cosmological assumptions were wrong. Currently, scientists at NASA are gaining initial experiences with the new telescope, which have already been astounding. However, we know that time always brings new experiences, and in one or two years, scientists might be able to extract even more from the telescope's capabilities. Then, perhaps we could finally see what truly happened at the alleged beginning of time. Although the theory of the Big Bang seemed plausible for a long time, there was no evidence to support its accuracy. With the rise of quantum physics, it became even more likely that our universe is an incredibly changeable, diverse, and possibly multi-layered place. Models of the bubble universe or pocket universe propose that our cosmos is enclosed in a large bubble and shares space with many other bubbles of various sizes. The pocket universe assumes that within a cosmos, 
there are multiple segments where similar but also different physical conditions may prevail. Through these pockets, we could access other dimensions or corners of the universe where different laws apply. In fact, there are nearly as many pieces of evidence and clues for these theories as there are for the Big Bang Theory. The assumption of the Big Bang and the rules of Einstein's physics were established long before the theories of quantum physics. In the future, the combination of these models might lead to a deeper understanding of our cosmos and the universe. If this turns out to be true, then we might be living in a bubble universe surrounded by other bubbles, or there could be an infinite number of universes, each with its own set of physical laws. This would imply a level of complexity that goes far beyond our current understanding of the universe and our place within it. As we continue to explore and uncover new data, the possibility of discovering alternate universes and dimensions becomes increasingly plausible, potentially revolutionizing our understanding of reality itself. To further delve into the implications of these new astronomical discoveries, we need to explore the broader questions they raise about our universe and our place within it. One of the most profound questions is whether the universe we observe is all that exists, or if our observations merely scratch the surface of a much larger and more complex structure. The concept of a multiverse, the idea that multiple, perhaps infinite, universes exist beyond our own, has gained traction in both theoretical physics and cosmology. If the recent discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope suggest the existence of galaxies that defy current understanding, it could be an indication that our universe is just one part of a much grander cosmic tapestry. The multiverse theory itself comes in various forms, each with different implications for our understanding of reality. One prominent theory is the inflationary multiverse, which proposes that during the early moments of the Big Bang, different regions of space expanded at different rates. This uneven expansion could have led to the creation of multiple, distinct bubble universes, each with its own set of physical laws and constants. If this theory holds, then the universe we perceive might be just one bubble in a vast, diverse cosmic foam. Another interesting concept is the idea of a cyclic universe. This theory suggests that the universe undergoes an eternal cycle of creation, expansion, contraction, and rebirth. According to this model, the universe as we know it could be the result of a previous universe collapsing in on itself and then re-emerging in a Big Bang-like event. This cycle could theoretically repeat indefinitely, meaning that our universe is just one iteration in a never-ending series of cosmic rebirths. The discovery of extremely ancient galaxies, such as GLASS Z12 and CRS 93316, poses significant challenges to our current understanding of cosmic evolution. These findings imply that there may have been processes occurring in the early universe that we do not yet fully understand. If galaxies could form and organize themselves so quickly after the Big Bang, it suggests that our models of cosmic evolution and the formation of structures in the universe might need substantial revisions. This revelation could lead to new theories about how galaxies and other cosmic structures develop and interact over time. Additionally, the possibility of observing phenomena that seem to defy the standard models of physics opens the door to a reevaluation of fundamental principles. For instance, the existence of galaxies with properties that challenge our understanding of dark matter, dark energy, and the behavior of light could necessitate a revision of the standard model of particle physics. This could also prompt a re-examination of Einstein's theory of relativity and how it applies on the grandest scales. As we continue to push the boundaries of our observational capabilities, the role of future space missions and next-generation telescopes will be crucial. Instruments that are even more powerful than the James Webb Space Telescope will be needed to probe deeper into the universe and possibly detect even more distant or faint objects. These advancements will help to refine our understanding of the universe's history and structure and might provide more clues about the true nature of the cosmos. Moreover, the philosophical and existential implications of these discoveries are profound. If our universe is part of a multiverse or if there are realms beyond our current observational limits, it challenges our very understanding of existence. This could affect not only scientific theories but also our philosophical and metaphysical views on life, consciousness, and the nature of reality. As we unravel more about the universe, we may find ourselves reconsidering fundamental questions about the meaning and purpose of our existence. In conclusion, the new insights gained from the James Webb Space Telescope, 
and other advanced observational tools are expanding our knowledge of the universe in ways we had not anticipated. These discoveries are not just adding new pieces to the cosmic puzzle, but are fundamentally reshaping our understanding of the cosmos. As we continue to explore and learn more about the universe, we stand on the brink of potentially groundbreaking revelations that could transform our view of reality itself. The journey to understanding the true nature of the universe is far from over, and each new discovery brings us one step closer to unraveling the mysteries of existence.